There are so many reasons for us as believers to thank God daily. In fact, our routine, the first thing we should be doing when we wake up, is thanking Him for a new day. Thank Him for His mercy. Thank Him for the gift of life. And sometimes it's easy to lose sight of some of the simple blessings that the Lord has set right in front of us. But we have to be appreciative. We need to have gratitude for all that he has done for us. And if you're running out of reasons to be thankful, allow me to remind you today that you and I should be thankful because Jesus Christ died for our sins. He suffered immense physical pain for sins he did not commit. All because of love. He loved us and still loves us that much that he would give his own life. So you and I need to be thankful that we don't have to work our way into heaven. There is nothing that you can do to qualify or buy your way into heaven. The work has already been done for us by Jesus Christ. We simply need to accept him as the way, the truth and the life. He is holy and the living son of God who died on the cross and rose again so that we may have eternal life. Be thankful that Romans chapter 8 verse 1 says there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Be thankful for the word of God, which tells us in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 23, that for you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. Be thankful that Philippians 4.19 gives us a promise saying, And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And so with this understanding, with a spirit filled with gratitude, let us pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you, Father, for the plan that you have over my life. Thank you even for the steps that you have ordered for me and the process that you have laid out ahead. Thank you for being the source of my strength and the centre of my joy. I pray that you would continue to equip me with all that I need to follow you and to be planted on higher ground. I thank you for all that I have. I thank you for all of the things that I may sometimes take for granted. Thank you for my health, Lord. I can walk. I can see. I have breath inside my lungs. I can feel the wind and I can even move my hands. For all of these things, Lord, as simple as they may be, I thank you. I thank you that I have shelter, I have a place to sleep, I have food to eat. Thank you for meeting my physical needs, Lord Jesus. You provide for me and protect me. You care for me and you sustain me, not because I deserve it, but because of your grace and mercy, I place all of my expectations, my hopes and trust at the foot of the cross. I commit everything into your hands, from my finances to my health, from my personal ambitions to my career. I commit it all into your hands, Lord. 
and Father, there are times in my life where I have faced difficulties, situations that have been hard to handle and process. But I thank you that you have never given me anything that's too much for me to handle. Nothing has caused me to break because your hand is upon my life. I thank you because the Holy Spirit has been there to lift me up and comfort me even in the toughest of times. Thank you for being my provider of strength, my source of strength. Each time that I have faced opposition or circumstances that were bigger than me, you have been the source of my strength to overcome, the source of strength for me to endure. You have renewed my strength so many times and allowed me to press forward. I thank you because whenever things look dim or bleak, you have always come through. You have been a God who honours his word, and so my hope is not in the promises of man, but in the promises of God. You will perfect everything concerning me, that's why I can find strength in you. I will forever seek your divine will and your everlasting promises that are written in your word. I will hold on to your word regardless of how my situation appears to be in the natural eye. I pray that the Holy Spirit will help me to continue to have faith and to find strength in you. I am grateful, Lord, because of your faithfulness. It's because of your word that I am able to live victoriously and with no fear. I pray that you may mould my heart so that it may become a heart full of thanksgiving. May I be thankful always, even when life gets me down. May I remain thankful even when I'm going through tests and challenges, even when my faith is being tested. May you open my eyes so that I may see the blessings, the gifts that you have given me, blessings such as your love and kindness. Thank you for loving me enough to come to earth and die for my sins so that I can spend eternity with you, Lord. And Holy Spirit, I ask that you would teach me to offer the Lord a heart full of gratitude and praise. Teach me to appreciate the goodness of the Lord and never to take it for granted. Teach me to be mindful and to remember where God has brought me from. Teach me to be joyful always and to pray without ceasing. Father, I bow before your throne of grace. I know that my situation is in your hands and regardless of what I face today, I would like to thank you for all that you have done, all that you are doing and that which you are still yet to do. My life is in your hands, Father. You are all-knowing. You are a God who knows what I have lost and knows what I seek to gain. You know all that has been wrongfully done to me and you also know what I deserve and ultimately what I will receive from you. I pray that you may guide me in all of my ways. I thank you for listening to this prayer. I thank you for all that you have done and all the many blessings that you have given me. May your name be glorified and praised in my life. And as you look down from heaven, may you see my heart filled with thanksgiving, with praise, with appreciation for who you are, Lord, and all that you are doing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray, Amen.